Hello students, my name is Rinisha and I am a faculty of Civil Engineering in the LDRP Institute of Technology and Research, Gandhinagar. Today our topic will be Building Services, which is the subject of Semester 7. First of all, what is Building Services? Building Services are what? That serves the building, provides the services to the building. Today my topic is going to Today I will be covering this following topic. First of all, the introduction part. Second is the types of building services. Third is the uses of building services. What are the advancements in the building services? And out of different building services, one of the building service, or we can say one of the service that is the fire protection, we will be studying the introductory part of this fire protection and some of the NBC guidelines for the fire safety. Now, first of all, what is building construction? That everything inside a building which makes it safe and comfortable to be in comes under the title of the building services. A building not only provides a shelter, but also an environment where people can leave work and achieve. The building services are such that if a building will be there, then whatever the basic amenities, or we can see the basic requirements are there, that should be fulfilled that is known as the building services different building services are there like energy supply in the form of gas electricity or any of the renewable resources heating and air conditioning water drainage and plumbing natural and artificial lightning and building package escalators and lifts ventilation and refrigeration communication lines telephones and it networks security and alarm system, fire detection and protection, anti-termite treatment, damp and waterproofing treatment, and green building provision. All these services are to be required if any of the type of the building is being constructed. The basic requirements are the energy, heating and cooling, water supply, proper drainage system should be there, the plumbing system should be there. Plumbing systems include the pipelines of the water supply and the drainage. And some of the high-tech facilities or we can say the additional facilities are the security facilities should be there. Alarm systems should be there. And nowadays, as we know, the green building provisions are to be followed. If a building is to be constructed, then there should be some of the green building provisions which should be followed in a building. Now, what are the different objectives of building, building services? First of all, to provide the comfortable living to its occupants. To provide safety to the occupants. Whatever the building services are being provided, they should not only provide the comfortable living, but as well as the safety and it should be user friendly. Improve the efficiency of the user, provide protection against weather changes, for example, heating and cooling system in a building, maintain health of the occupants, improve functioning of a building, maintain ventilation in a building, preserve air quality in a building, and increase life of a building. For example, the building life can be increased by providing proper anti-termite treatment, water, uh, proper dam proofing, waterproofing, etc. To provide water supply, sanitary services, electric supply, communication services in a building. Also to improve the living standards of the occupants. All these are the objectives of the building services. If we provide any of the building services, then at least they should be fulfilling this all objective. Here you can see that there is an image which shows most of the building services inside a building. Different lightning and connections are there. Some of the fire alarm systems are there for fire safety. The security purpose are there for the security or the access control, we can say. Then we have proper communication facilities are there. The environment, the health of in a building can be improved by providing proper ventilation. Environmental controls are there. It can be uh, visible. The building can be designed by providing the green, uh, green building resort provisions water management are there and some of nowadays we know that some of the buildings also have the smoke detection automatic smoke control systems are there the access controls are there that for example if we have a residential building 
and whoever are residing inside the building they have a proper access code so by which only they can enter to the building so all that are for the security purpose so all these services can be included in the building services now what are the various uses of building services first of all the plumbing plumbing in terms of the water supply or the gas supply the proper pipelines the proper networking electricity gas supply hvac system that is heat ventilation and air conditioning system for the weather changes of the outside if the weather outside is cold then they should be providing proper air conditioning inside fire protection systems are there fire safety measures has to be taken also sometimes fire extinguishing systems have to be installed transportation system transportation in terms of the passengers if we considered or the people vertical transportation can be provided by the lifts or the staircase and horizontal can be provided by providing proper access to the system communication services are there proper telephonic services cable lines should be proper networking system should be proper security services can be there security from any theft we can consider the cctv cameras are there or security in terms of the maintenance of the building anti termite and waterproofing treatment nowadays the new concept in building services are being included that is the rain water harvesting systems are being included whichever the new building are being constructed they are providing the rain water harvesting system green building provisions they are following and some of the integrated building management systems are there now out of all these building services today we will be continuing with one of the building service that is the fire protection fires can happen because of three reasons that is air heat and fuel air means in terms of oxygen that if proper oxygen is is applied that it can result in a larger fire heat in terms of the energy if smaller materials are there which can combust easily if proper temperatures is been provided to that material then they can ignite faster the fuels are considered fuels can be in the three forms solid liquid or gaseous forms are there some of the oils if we consider some of the petroleum diesel varnishes all that can result into the fire now when the fire becomes the hazard for us if we consider if we preserve the carelessness then it can result in the fire now what are the basic carelessness means that we can say we are observing in our daily life so some of the carelessness like discarding the ends of a cigarette matches and tobacco in an unauthorized places in different maintenance of machinery including overloading and under or over lubricating of the bearings we know that sometimes whatever in industry if we consider then some of the machines are there which are not being proper lubricated so that can create the friction on it that can create the fire the sparks can be sometimes results into a larger fire general indifferences to cleanliness incorrect storage of the materials are there if some of the toxic materials are there or some of the combustible materials are there if they are not stored by proper means or by proper prevention then they can result into the fire faulty workmanship and inattention to electrical installations are there basically in the monsoon season the fire happens that if some of the electrical appliances are not being measured with proper prevention then they can result into the fire unapproved equipment and layout in attention to persons concerned with inspection and patrol of the premises under the jurisdiction in attention to the fire regulation now the fire hazards are basically of the three types first is the personal hazard personal hazard is the possibility of loss or damage to the life referred as a personal hazard permanent importance and requires the provisions of liberal designs and safe exit routes personal personal hazard sometimes may result in the death also internal hazard internal hazard is possibility of fire occurring and spreading inside the building itself if in a building if we have some combustible materials and if they ignite then they can result into the internal hazard 
exposure hazards are what? That possibility of fire spreading from an adjoining building or from across the street or the road. If the construction of the buildings will be such that two buildings are adjoining to each other and in some cases one building catches the fire or it has a fire hazard, then if preventive measures are not taken, then it can spread to the other building also. That is known as the exposure hazard. Now, generally the fire is calculated in the terms of the fire load. Fire load is what amount of heat in kilocalories which is liberated per square meter of floor area of any compartment by the combustion of the contents of the building and any combustible part of the building itself. Fire load is the amount of measuring the fire in kilocalorie per meter cube. How much fire has been transported or how much fire has been spread in a particular area because of some combustible amount of combustible material present at that place. Based on the fire load, there are some Indian standards which have classified into three categories like low fire load, moderate fire load and high fire load. Low fire load which is having the amount of 275,000 kilocalories per meter cube. Generally, this type of fire happens in the domestic buildings, hotels, offices and such type of buildings. Moderate fire exceeding to 275,000 kilocalories per meter cube, but below 550,000 kilocalories per meter cube. This can happen in trading establishments and factories. High fire load, they are value between 550,000 kilocalories per meter cube up to 111 lakh kilocalories per meter cube. This type of high fire can happen in the go down. Now, some of the codes are being there, revised versions of the NDCs are there, which has such fire safety guidelines. As we can see that these are the different terms, these are the different NDC revision years, which have been revised in a particular year and which has some guidelines regarding the fire safety or fire prevention. Also, some Indian standards are there on the fire system design. So, these are the different coders, codes of the Indian standards which has a practices for the fire safety in a building. Now, there are different classification of building have been given by the NBC, National Building Code. The different types of buildings have been classified into different categories. And as we know that the J group are there, it includes the hazardous buildings, which are, which are liable to explode or has a highly combustible material. Now, Fire protection system, if we have to install the fire protection system, then it should consider energy resources, energy source like electrical power, gas or oil, water supply should be there, proper water supply, water storage tank should be there, fire and smoke detection. So that fire smoke detection will be such that it will be causing the, it will be stopping the spread of the fire. Also the fire announcement will be there Whenever the large fire occurs, then it can announce and aware the people about the hazard. Fire extinguishers are there, different fire fighting equipments are there, and lightning protection equipments are there. Now, different classification of fires has been given based on its combustible rate. That is class A, that is ordinary combustion, that includes the paper, cardboard, wood, etc., normal materials which are present in a building. Class B, that is the fire involving the flammable liquids such as oil, solvents, petroleum products, etc., paints, varnishes, etc. All these materials are classified in the class B flammable liquid. Class C, that is circuit, electrical equipment, if we consider the faulty electrical equipment, like overloaded circuits are there, fuse box, damaged wiring, and defective switches can lead to this type of fire. And the class B fire that is involving the combustible metals such as magnesium, sodium, zinc, titanium, etc. So these are the different classification of fire based on the combustion or the based on the types of the different materials. Three principles of fire extinguishing are starvation, smoothing, and cooling. By adopting these three principles, we can reduce the fire. Different fire detection and alarm systems are there. 
see, as we can see in this picture, the different fire extinguishing systems can be installed. The firefighting systems can be installed in a building. So, if we consider any building, then the sanctioning of the building construction and approval of fire safety standards in a building, a few basic requirements specified in the NBC has to be met. So I hope now everyone is clear with the basic introduction of the building services and the basic introduction and the precautionary measures of the fire safety. So these are the different references. So thank you everyone.